Hi folks, I want to talk about the contempt hearing that's coming up in two days. I have said a few times now that I can't see how Judge Francis Gull is going to kick them off the case again. Mainly because of what the Supreme Court justices have said the first time she tried to kick them off. They talked about the merits a lot. They talked about the impact on Richard Allen's right to a speedy trial. The state also talked about how the judge has to take Richard Allen's, what he wants, into consideration, and they didn't really do that, and said that they'd also be concerned about his right to a speedy trial. If that happens, if she kicks them off the case, I can't see this going to trial, and the whole case is at risk of collapsing. We go back to where we were months ago, and it's back at the Supreme Court. That's guaranteed. That's guaranteed. So because of the chaos that that would bring, I've said a few times that I really don't think she'll kick them off for a second time. However, I feel like come Monday, I might look like a fool for saying that. Because if I forget about what I think she might do, and just look at her actions since the Supreme Court ruling, every indication is that she is going to kick them off the case again on Monday. There's really not any indication that she's not going to do that. She had to rule on the speedy trial, she had no choice there. But it's not only kick them off the case, there's also rumblings that Rick Allen's attorneys, at least Baldwin anyway, I suppose, is kind of preparing for the possibility that Francis Gull has lost the plot and is going to arrest them on Monday. Has she lost the plot? Like seriously, is she mental? Are we mental? Maybe it's us. If she tries to kick them off the case, this case is screwed. She thinks that she's following the process this time, but again, there's even some serious questions around that, around if she is. She got a motion from a respected attorney who cites loads of case law about why this current, this new process is also wrong. She rejects it, just says nothing, cites nothing, but she doesn't need to because in her head she is the law. Who's going to stop her? Who is going to stop her until this gets back to the Supreme Court. This hearing on Monday shouldn't even be in her courtroom. It's on Alan's docket, so why is she moving it? On paper, again, you can't do that, but she is. The defence filed a motion saying, we don't agree to this move. She ghosts them, she just ignores it. She doesn't care, and she probably didn't even read it. And I get why people might say, oh, she's strong, she's taking no shit. Yeah, but she's also a judge who is not following the law not following your constitution and she thinks that's all okay unless they've got some mind-blowing damning evidence from mitch westerman's emails or text messages where andy baldwin is organizing this leak he's orchestrating it then the delphi case and her chance of ever getting on the supreme court will be done if she removes them it would have to reach a level where richard allen himself and Cathy allen and people who want Rick Allen to have a fair trial and good attorneys see whatever it is that they think they have and are like oh geez we changed our mind we agree kick them off is it going to reach that level I don't think so Gull is trying to spin it that she's doing this for Richard Allen it's in his best interests but is it really is it really Fran there's a part of me like no way she can't do this but I'm going to have to stop saying that because I'm just trying to convince myself really at this stage. And I was thinking last night, what if she didn't even watch the Supreme Court ruling? She didn't even listen and just read the report. It sounds mental, but what if she just didn't bother? She's probably furious that it even ended up there. And she applied to be on that Supreme Court a couple of times. So knowing how she tends to have a bit of an irrational bias... Not ideal for a special judge, but look, here we are. I would imagine some of those Supreme Court justices, she looks at them and she does not like them. She doesn't want to listen to them. She's a bit jealous that they have got the gig over her. If she torpedoes this case Monday and kicks them off again, the Supreme Court justices themselves are a fault also. Because that written ruling was very soft and gentle with her. When you consider how fast they ruled on it, and all the stuff they said at the hearing, they didn't bring much that up in the ruling. They were just like, oh, the judge followed the wrong process. 
blah de blah de blah. Honestly, I won't be able to speak one day if she kicks them off. And I think she's going to kick them. Every indication since the Supreme Court, the way she set a date for the Franks and then two days later, when they get back on the case, she denies it. She falls up over herself to schedule in the contempt hearing and then she ghosts them on every single motion that they file. David Hennessy has got a lot into the record this week. A load of rubbish as well, but he's got some very good stuff in there also. And I'm sure the Supreme Court justices will really appreciate that record when they're looking at this case again. And that's what most of the filings have been this week. Hennessy has been throwing everything, everything, at creating a record and disrupting this contempt hearing. You can think what you want about Hennessy, but I'd much rather have him on my side than not. He's not going to lie down without a fight. He's tried to cancel this contempt hearing. He's tried to move it. He tried to delay it. He tried getting Gull to recuse herself. He tried getting Nick to recuse himself. He's after digging up a load of shit from YouTube. And he's putting that in the record. Making everything muddy. He's going on the attack in some places. He's just a nightmare to deal with. A lot of rubbish. A lot of rubbish in there. But he also got some good stuff on the record. That might come into play later on. If this case ends up back at the Supreme Court, which is, it looks like that's where we're going. It will be incredible to watch this unfold on TV. I'm so jealous of everyone who's going to be in that court, and I'd love to be there. I've never seen anything like this, and I hate saying it, but it looks like she's probably going to kick them off Monday. If not, this is a great bluff. This is a really good bluff, and I would not like to play her on poker, but it looks like she is. There's no cameras, there's no audio, so... If anyone knows any decent person on Twitter or YouTube that will be there covering it live, please let me know. I'm going to find a hair to follow and get information live. I want to know everything, every word. And I want to see it. I'd love to see this. And whatever about me, it's disgraceful that people of Indiana cannot watch this. It's just more self-inflicted wounds for Gull and the prosecution. Can you imagine the scenes if she tries to arrest them Monday? Arrest Hennessy as well, you might as well. And I'm not going to end this video by saying, ah, she won't do that, she can't do that, because I'm lost. I don't know what she's going to do. But at this stage, two days before, all indications to me are she's going to at least kick them off the case. I really hope not, because that does not help Abby and Libby. It does not help get justice for the families. The opposite of that. Fingers crossed. Let me know what you think. Good luck. God bless. I hope everyone has a nice day.